Okay guys, so this is going to be quite a nice quick equilibrium question from an AQA A-level chemistry past paper. As always, paper, mark scheme, and examiner's report linked in the description below and I can't show the paper because of AQA copyright. So the main point of this video is just to go over the ice table method behind these equilibrium questions and see exactly what we need to do and how to go about solving any of these questions that may pop up. So the final step in methanol synthesis is represented by the following equation. I've got an equilibrium going on here, right? Initially, a sealed container held 20.1 mole of carbon monoxide and 24.2 mole of hydrogen. An equilibrium was reached at 600 Kelvin. This temperature is not really important here, I'm not gonna lie. With 2.16 mole of methanol present in the mixture. Let's actually highlight that as well. Determine the number of moles of carbon monoxide and hydrogen present in the equilibrium mixture. So, as I said, ice tables, and these can be applied to all the questions for equilibrium. So let's uh, let's redraw out our equilibrium expression here, OH. Okay, so I stables then, what does this actually mean? So I stands for initial, C stands for change, and E stands for equilibrium or at equilibrium. And this always refers to moles, okay? So amount of things that are changing. So it allows us to work out, okay, how do we go from our initial to what our equilibrium. So let's actually fill in the values in this table here. So let's look at carbon monoxide, our first reactant here. And it's told us in the question that we have 20.1 moles initially. Okay, so that's our initial amount. We also have a value for the hydrogen, so 24.2. So let's put that in as well. And now we've switched away from initially and it's instead telling us that at equilibrium, we have 2.16 mole of methanol present. Okay, so all the way down here at equilibrium, we have 2.16 mole. Okay, so real simple, real simple overview of these ice tables, okay? What you have to do is you have to look at the mole ratios. And that simply involves looking at the coefficient in front of the compounds, okay? So here we have an imaginary one. If there's nothing present, it's just one. And then we have a two here and we have another one here. So that's our mole ratios. And this helps us because in an ice table, what you want to do is you want to think going across the equilibrium sign, if something is produced, so this amount that is produced of the methanol on the right hand side, the product side of the equilibrium reaction, it has to be taken away from the reactant side, okay? So our change here, if we think about this in terms of our mole ratios, let's look at carbon monoxide first. So because this is a one to one ratio between our carbon monoxide and our methanol, we can say then, okay, we have changed by minus 2.16 moles of carbon monoxide. And that's because anything that is produced has to be taken away from the reactants. Okay, now let's move on to hydrogen, okay? Because this is now a two to one ratio, what we have to do is multiply this value here by two. And that is what the change is going to be. So if we write that out then, this multiplied by two is just going to be 4.32. But again, we have to minus it because we're producing it, it's going to be lost from the reactant side, okay? So real simple, you can literally just chuck this in your calculator. What is 20.1 minus 2.16, 17.94? What is 24.2 minus 4.32, 19.88? Okay, and this is our amount of carbon monoxide, and this is our amount of hydrogen at equilibrium. It's as simple as that. And you can apply that to any sort of equilibrium calculation that you need to. A real quick video, a simple breakdown of ice tables. It's a really useful method to solve these questions if you're just learning this topic. If you wanna see more question breakdowns, I have a range from beginner all the way to very advanced questions. Like the video, subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. Best of luck in your revision and upcoming exams, guys. Until next time. Peace.